Hello, it's Medusa. Welcome to this video. In the background, we have my lesbian flag and I also lit this lesbian candle I got recently. So, you know, it's very gay over here. Anyways, so today I'll be talking about LGBT plus manga. So first we have The Bride Was a Boy by Chi. I'm just gonna read the description because like, that's the easiest thing to do. A heartwarming transgender love story based on true events. A diary comic with an upbeat, adorable flair that tells the charming tale of Chi, a woman assigned male at birth. Her story starts with her childhood and follows the ups and downs of exploring her sexuality, gender, and transition, as well as falling in love with a man who's head over heels for her. Now, Chi is about to embark on a new adventure, becoming a bride. Yeah, you should check it out. I've read it and it's really great. Next, we have Days of Love by Seiko Villa by Kadama Naoko. A touching Giri romance about two women building a life together in rural Japan by the best-selling author of I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up. When Mayumi's fiance leaves her for another woman, she decides to start a new life out in the countryside. But country living isn't as peaceful as she thought it would be. Her landlord, Rin, is loud, bossy and always up in Mayumi's business. But Mayumi soon sees that there's a lot going on under Rin's brash exterior. Rin is raising a young child on her own after experiencing a major tragedy. As the two women come to rely on each other, their relationship starts to grow into something complicated. So yes, this is volume one. Volume two comes out on the 23rd, I think, of this month. So. Yes, this is Yuri and I would recommend it. Next is That Blue Sky Feeling. The story is by Okura and the art is by Koma Hashi. A Butterflies in Your Stomach high school romance about two very different high school boys who'd find themselves unexpectedly falling for each other. Outgoing high school student Noshiro finds himself drawn to Sonata, the school outcast, who's rumored to be gay. Rather than deter Noshiro, the rumor makes him even more determined to get close to Sonata, setting in motion a bittersweet tale of first love. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this. There's only three volumes and this came out like a while ago, so I'm late obviously, but yeah. Next, we have A Tropical Fish Dreams for Snow by Makoto Hujino. When her dad gets a job overseas, Konatsu has to leave the Tokyo life she's always known and relocate to a small seaside town to stay with her aunt. The move also means starting a new school surrounded by complete strangers, and it's a lot to handle for a girl who has trouble with change. But on her first day in her new town, Konatsu is instantly drawn to Koyuki, an older girl who is the sole member of the aquarium club. Konatsu's introverted tendencies are hard for her to overcome, but maybe she's found something worth coming out of her shell for. Kanatsu is doing her best to adapt to her new school, but being required to join a club has introduced additional pressures. Her friendly classmate Katie invites her to join the home ec club, but Kanatsu hasn't even had time to consider which club she's interested in. Meanwhile, Koyuki is like a ray of sunshine in Kanatsu's cloudy world. Will Kanatsu join the aquarium club? I love this so much. It's so freaking soft and wholesome and it's just like a really great Gary series. Next, we have Deko Boku Sugar Days by Atsuko Yusen. Yujiro Matsukaze has been close friends with Ryu Hanamine since the two of them were children. Back then, Yujiro was the one who stood up for and took care of his adorable, soft-hearted friend. But as it turns out, Yujiro's childhood dreams end up growing a little too big to handle or rather too tall. At over six feet in height, the cheerful and happy-go-lucky Hanamine towers over his would-be protector and still has no idea Yujiro's had a crush on him since they were kids. Friends to lovers, you know, cutesy stuff. Next is How Do We Relationship by Tammy Fool. This is a Yuri series that is currently ongoing. Shai Miwa has always dreamed of finding love, but living in small town Japan made finding the right match difficult especially since she likes girls. Even going away to college didn't seem to help until one day her outgoing classmate, Seiko, suggests they might as well start dating each other since it's not like either of them have other options. At first, it seems like things won't work out as their personalities clash and misunderstandings abound. But when their casual friendship starts to become something more, Miwa begins to wonder, can a pragmatic proposal lead to true love? These girls are in college and they're also in a band, so it's really, it's really amazing. I love all the characters and 
yeah next is our dining table by mita ori this is a one shot that is also a bo eating around other people is a struggle for salary man yutaka despite his talent for cooking all that changes when he meets minoru and tane two brothers many years apart in age who ask him to teach them how to make his delicious food. It's not long before Yutaka finds himself falling hard for the meals they shared together and falling in love. I think this was the first BL I ever read and it's just so freaking amazing. Like it's not creepy at all, it's very wholesome and I just really, really loved it a lot. Next is After Hours by Yuta Nishio. This is completed at three volumes and it's a Yuri series. So here's the description. Emi Asahina is 24, unemployed, and not really sure what she wants to do with her life. When a friend invites her to a dance club, Emi doesn't expect much, but what she finds will change her world. The club is hopping and Emi isn't, so she ends up hiding in a corner after her friend ditches her to flirt with a guy. Emi figures the night is a bust, but then someone amazing comes to her rescue. Kai is a DJ, and her effortless self-confidence captivates Emi. Is this just a wonderful night out or the start of the rest of her life? So yes, another Yuri series and I think it's really good. I didn't finish it yet, but like this first volume is really great. So I would recommend it. Next we have the Kasusen Anne series by Hiromi Takashima. The first five volumes have different titles. And then after that is like whenever they're in college and it's called Kasusen Yamada. But you can find out what volume is which by looking at like the numbers in the bubbles. So. So here's the description. Yamada may be shy and rather clumsy, but the flower gardens at her school have always brought her happiness. Suddenly, a different sort of beauty catches her eyes. The vivacious track star, Kasei-san. Although the two girls don't seem to have much in common, they soon start a romance where each must learn an important lesson in tending their budding relationship. Can the two girls, so different from each other, learn how to make their first love blossom so yeah this series is ongoing right now it has six volumes out and yeah it's very cute and i really love it a lot the last manga for this video is go for a nakamura by siyundi i actually have a review about this on my channel so you can look at that if you want to nakamura is a shy boy who falls in love at first sight with another boy his dreamy high school classmate hirose but there's a problem they haven't met yet and Nakamura is a total klutz who might bungle things before they even begin. In this endearing boys love comedy about the trails of high school, follow Nakamura's hilarious attempts to cling to happiness. I really love this a whole lot. I've read it twice and I'm going to read it a third time eventually. So yes, there is lots of gay panic and, and I would definitely recommend this. So here's the manga I mentioned in this video. Um, be on the lookout for part two because I already have it planned out. I just have to film it. So yeah, thank you for watching. And of course, if you have any recommendations, please put them in the comments. And yeah, bye.